Hey, it's Nora from Tesla.com, and for today's show and tell, I want to share with you guys one of my crazy obsessions. I am completely obsessed with the world of limited edition screen printed posters. So you can buy posters online and there are tons of different ways that people print out posters of varying qualities. What I really like are screen printing posters, screen printed posters. And that is like screen printed t-shirts, a way of using a screen printer process, using a screen which is kind of like a stencil to put ink on top of a sheet of paper and you can use anywhere from one color ink or multiple different colors of ink. But the difference is that these posters are usually done on very thick paper and you actually use the color of the paper on the poster and the artist has to kind of choose very judiciously what colors he or she uses because they can't just use a multicolor regular inkjet laser jet printed process. And these posters typically last much longer than an inkjet or laser printed poster. So I actually acquired a couple posters recently a lot of people might know online there's a place called Mondo Tees. Uh, it's a poster shop based in Austin, and they do a lot of posters from really famous online artists like Ollie Moss, Ken Taylor, and Tyler Stout. But those posters sell out really quickly, and it's really difficult to buy those posters. I have a couple of those, but I actually like finding new artists, and a lot of independent artists go to conventions and sell their posters there, or even online. So this poster I got recently is from actually a tested reader. Uh, his name is Rob L, and he goes by the uh, website Fringe Focus, and he had a really successful Kickstarter campaign selling this Acme Corporation poster. It is a screen printer poster, so the paper is actually red, and there's actually only two colors on here. It's black and this kind of silver, but Rob basically went and watched every single Roadrunner cartoon and figured out every single device that the Coyote went to try to trap the Roadrunner and designed it in this gorgeous 24 by 36 poster. Most of these posters are limited edition, so Rob sold this on Kickstarter. He sold about 3,400 of them, but I can reveal to you today that he's actually gonna put more online, artist proofs online, and a copper color variant online uh, beginning of May. So you wanna check that out if you wanna get in on this poster. Another poster I got recently at WonderCon is from the artist Kevin Tong. Kevin Tong has done a, f a couple really great posters for Mondo. He did a really good Iron Giant one and an Avengers one last year. But this one is for a short film on Vimeo called Overview. And he just did a hundred of these, and this is an, another artist proof, but this is a good example of a four color screen printed poster. So the poster is actually, the paper is light blue, turquoise which looks great for the outline, but there's actually four ink colors here. And the resolution isn't as fine as you'd find on an inkjet or laser printed poster, but I really like the speckled screen printed effect. And it really makes this earth look great. And this is, if you uh, follow the ISS and NASA, this is actually the cupola on the ISS, which is kind of like their observatory deck. It's where the astronauts sit in and take photos of earth. I really, really love this poster. And actually there might be some online still if you can get in on that. So aside from artists' websites and conventions, a couple other poster shops I like online are DKNG Studios and Gallery 1988, which is an art arts gallery in Los Angeles that does a lot of pop culture art showings and then they sell the posters and prints afterwards. And once I get the posters in, I also recommend going on Amazon and FrameUSA.com to get a poster frame for these. Uh, FrameUSA is actually the place where we got all the frames for the posters and prints and the photo prints you see in back of us. And I would recommend for a 24 by 36 inch poster, paying no more than about $30 online for a good wooden frame. And for these posters, a plastic frame is good enough. You don't need glass. Uh, so that's my obsession with posters, screen printed posters. If you collect them yourself or have cool prints, post them in the comments below. I'm Norm from Testin, and we'll be back next week with another show and tell. See ya.